And finally tonight, with Christmas just two weeks away, one sure sign of the season is in full swing, the battles over holiday decorations, the so-called Christmas wars. Whose symbols can go where? Who's included? Who's offended? It's turned into a very messy business. ABC's Neil Karlinski has the latest example from Seattle. At SeaTac Airport, tis the season for outrage and hurt feelings, but apparently not for Christmas trees. I think it's very unfortunate. Why lose the Christmas spirit? Seattle Talk Radio is getting an earful. Yes. This is political correctness running amok. It all began when a local rabbi threatened a lawsuit if the airport didn't put up a menorah to go along with their 14 trees. Airport officials decided against that. Instead, they pulled all the trees, packaged them up, and hid them out of sight. Because we did not have time to consider what other kind of religions might also warrant uh, symbols as part of the holiday decorations, uh, we took the trees down. The big wreath on the wall and a few snowflakes remain, but that's about it. All that's left of the big Christmas tree display here is a big empty spot on the floor. The rabbi who brought the issue has been getting hate mail. I'm shocked, appalled, extremely upset, uh, the mere fact that they would remove the Christmas trees the holiday. Um, this is not at all the intent. But the Christmas wars are being fought this year on many fronts, from a Jesus-free nativity scene in West Virginia to a festival in Chicago where sponsors decided to ban advertisements for the nativity story. Many Christians are angry. What's next? Uh, you know, we have to get rid of the tooth fairy. Um, this, this really has gone too far. At SeaTac, some airlines are pushing back. They've begun putting up their own small trees at ticket counters. With two weeks to go until Christmas, overwhelmed airport officials are debating their next move. Hi. And one longtime airport Santa says he feels like he has a bullseye on his back. Are you worried they're going to come after you next? <laughs> uh, I told a few people they may kick me out. <laughs> kick out Santa? Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.